Friends and family, hello! Today we're talking about RuneScape. RuneScape is coming to Steam. Why are they doing that? And what is that going to do to the game? And uh, how is that a big deal exactly for RuneScape, uh, for other MMOs, for any game, period? I think it's really no one's surprise that RuneScape might come to Steam, possibly, potentially. Though, why now? I mean, why wasn't it sooner? Because coming to Steam is a big boost for a player base. And how big of a boost? Sometimes it can literally revive a game. There's actually been multiple cases. I think very recently, or maybe like a year ago, like Night Online was a classic MMO that came to Steam. A few others have come to Steam. Um, even some like Asian games that you, you could actually play on their own browsers and or maybe or their own launchers. Uh, they finally launched on Steam and that's when it actually took off in North America. And then some games definitely have launched on Steam in the past and then have died. Sure, uh, Steam is kind of like this rotating billboard. So, you know, yeah, a ton of people can see your game, but then a ton of people will probably miss it and it'll go away forever. So depending on how you launch on Steam, what you do with that uh, could be tremendous for your game. But the thing is, is RuneScape's already big. Like it's already, it's already kind of a thing. It's been years and years and years. It could have launched on Steam. So why didn't it? The thing is, is the whole rotating billboard thing. You can launch on Steam and you can have some success with it. A game like RuneScape especially, yeah, it would get more players, but you actually have to do a little bit of extra work and extra publishing to actually make that worth it. Again, because Steam, if you they actually purchase uh, membership packages and stuff through Steam, then Steam is gonna take a big chunk of that change. Uh, as well, you do want to capitalize on who sees what content and what content you actually offer on Steam. So let's go ahead and divulge maybe like a quick little review for my personal taste of with uh, RuneScape 3 or the RuneScape that is first coming to Steam. But do know that also Old School RuneScape is coming to Steam. But I have to say Old School RuneScape is my preferred. It is the most played. It is the one that's the most memed, the most streamed. Um, but actually, the, the RuneScape 3, the one that's coming to Steam, is probably the best uh, new player friendly experience as well. Maybe it feels a little bit more traditional to a lot of other uh, free to play MMOs. Um, this game does have a, a tremendous amount of microtransactions that slaps you in the face. Its tutorial is more streamlined. Um, and in the end, it actually has an end game that probably is better, more closely similar to other popular titles um, with at least, you know, kind of like the dungeoning and the bossing stuff like that. So. In the end though, I think it's a full, it's a full game. It's a fun game, but it's just fragmented a little bit for me personally. Um, the charm is it kind of skips over what old school RuneScape does as well as the micro transactions do get annoying. And just a few other like little nitpicks here and there that, uh, well, if I have an option such as old school RuneScape, then I'm gonna play the one that is the more pure concept in my opinion. So that's pretty much all I have to say, but both are coming to Steam. And this one does have unique gameplay features that old school does not have that might really appeal to you. A lot of players actually do play both. It just most players do play old school RuneScape. Anyways, so why is okay? This this RuneScape I think could do very well on Steam, and I think it's coming now because they finally have a plan. Actually, that's what they said. Jagex has said that they're going to uh, they're going to have like unique uh, announcements, articles, guides, videos, and artwork going up onto the Steam publication page. They're gonna deploy a dedicated support team for Steam users as well. You know, they're gonna maintain this community. Um, so it, it's actually gonna take like manpower. It's gonna take actual thought. It took planning and they already did. They're gonna execute it. As well, they do speak about um, membership packages specifically for Steam users. And this is actually really great. So it's gonna get people to wanna use the Steam version, which, you know, a lot of people have Steam. If you don't know that, I don't know, a lot of people use Steam, and so just launching on Steam is a boon. It's worth it, uh, you know, to an extent. But um, one thing to keep in mind, which is kind of important, is that well, like a lot of these free-to-play games, especially, or games as a service, I see, they actually constantly do get shouted out over and over again. It's not just the launch date. For many things like Xbox Live Arcade or PlayStation Network, though they've been slightly tuning the formula recently, but previously, it's like, okay, day one or that first week, whenever you're on the, you know, the banner or whatever, it's like, oh, new release, you know, what's new and trending? That is basically it. Uh, but actually, Steam, you might know this, uh, at least a minimum four times, I think it's really like six times a year, they have massive sales. And it's actually more if you count the week-long deals and stuff like that. They constantly have sales and they constantly promote games. 
And that actually goes for free to play games and microtransactions in these games as well. I constantly see games like Skyforge being promoted or like World of Warships, uh, th you know, just just random games. Um, and it'll be like, oh, it's on sale and like it's a free to play game. But it means the content in the oh, Warframe also does that Warframe all the time is always on the Steam sales pretty much. So they're talking about the packages that you can purchase through Steam. Now, often I find these packages to be kind of like noob bait. And I do think that's going to be kind of the case with this game as well. But, um, you know, I think a lot of players will have fun with it. You know, it's probably going to have like some unique uh, cosmetics or something like that. You're going to get like oh, keys or whatever, you know, blah, 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 loot box. I don't know. Um, and then probably you can purchase the subscriptions through Steam as well. And if those subscriptions go on sale, that would be huge. That's going to get people into the game much easier as well constantly throughout you know the ages it's basically going to be a rotating billboard that more often actually will rotate back on to runescape where a lot of games kind of forget about that a lot of games just publish on steam and then they forget i, th I honestly frankly like it seems like a lot of indie devs don't know how to publish um they don't really know the behind the scenes and inner workings and that's all that, i mean that's a whole career path basically that's a whole other industry from development um but they really should be more intertwined uh, but then again, if you're an indie dev, you got to wear so many hats, uh, obviously. So um, a lot of these smaller MMOs, they just kind of spit it out on Steam. And even then, it still does really well. The player count uh, goes up tremendously. They become playable again. In fact, they might even find a new home, a new virility. Again, um, Night Online, which I thought was garbage, actually became pretty freaking popular. And a ton of other games. So being free to play, throwing it up on Steam. It's a lot of eyeballs and it's going to get people into this game, which Steam, uh, like, well, yeah, with Steam, I think that RuneScape uh, is going to kind of leave its niche status for the general, you know, audience who would probably more easily fall in line with like World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy 14. I think people are going to, you know, start to look at like, you know, lesser graphically impressive games or um, a lot of people are really enjoying CRPGs and slower paced RPGs and um, it's not everything is all about like spectacle and action constantly. So I think there is definitely a market right now for games like RuneScape. People want those like hyper social um, and kind of cute kind of almost like, you know, role play ish sort of sort of games. They just they want to kind of go back um, because it's been nonstop, you know, slaying 100 boars constantly for the past 10 years. So, yeah, I think this is a good time to do this. Um, they're doing this in a good way. Supposedly what they say they're going to try to do. I like they're bringing both runescapes over, though I think this runescape will, will do much, much better on Steam. It'll have more growth and they'll make much more money off of this. And maybe they can actually improve the game uh, much exponentially from this as well. So and also the more people that play the game, the more incentive people have to make content. And that's also why I enjoy when games publish themselves well, because then you have other people publishing content, memes, um, cosplays, you know, then you're going to have like bigger events, the, the conventions. Things like that. Obviously, YouTube videos, Let's Plays, challenges, things like that. I just, I really appreciate MMOs for the entire culture that they represent. So any big news like this is, uh, it's kind of awesome. I know it's like, oh, we're just releasing on Steam. The game's not, you know, changing that big, uh, but it, it can, it can result in a tremendous change. And honestly, more MMOs need to follow suit. I'm so tired of MMOs. They have their own little browser. You know, it, it just makes the game, it exponentially makes the game much kind of worse in a way because there's not as many people playing. Like, hey guys, imagine this, an MMO, the more people playing it, maybe a massive number of players kind of makes it a big deal. That's pretty much it. Not to say that small games are bad or in the end, like unplayable, but more people playing, uh, it's an MMO. You know, that's all I'm saying. It's, it should be pretty obvious. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this for sure. And I really want to see, like a lot of games do look at RuneScape as a shining, booming example of what to do and a little bit what not to do sometimes but as an example and i really hope they follow to with that and launch on steam or launch on multiple platforms please just let us play your games lower the barrier to entry make it free to play or incredibly cheap like black desert online you know have these sales constantly promote your games have players living in your world so that i can play it i can make content and i can have fun because i'm tired of not having fun in mmos for this reason or that reason and i feel like Hey, you know what? Launch on Steam. Why not? Launch on Steam. Make it even more popular. Do some interesting things. Just give me a reason to, to entice my friends to play with me. And, you know, then I'll, I'll be more inclined to play more MMOs. Even some that are maybe a little bit harder to get into, such as RuneScape. So, 
Anyways, that's all I got to say. That's my ranty ramble. What do you guys think in the comments below about RuneScape 3 versus old school RuneScape as well? Is it coming to Steam? Is it a big deal? Is it not? Let's shout it out, keyboard warriors. All right, guys, keep the hype alive. I'll see you again next time.